So you may have guessed it. Today we're going to talk about sound, sound effects, fully on a budget. And I'm going to keep these on because I want to be able to monitor what I'm doing while I'm filming this video. Let's roll the intro. struggling with and that I'm still learning. Maybe this prevents me from getting bored. I'm learning all the time. This should be in your priority list every time you're making films, videos, the sound. If you listen to a lot of my past YouTube videos, uh, you will realize a lot of them have a horrible sound. And the reason for that is because I'm not using an external mic. I'm using the built-in microphone of the camera and I'm also filming myself in a very echoey room. None of the rooms that I have currently access to to make my YouTube videos are soundproofed. So this makes it hard for me to make a clean, to record a clean sound. And that's why sometimes you hear maybe my computer in the background or an airplane flying in the background or birds humming. Recently, I've used different systems, different audio systems for my YouTube videos. You may have noticed this little lav mic attached to my chest. And this is kind of my go-to setup every time I want to make a quick video. And sometimes I use a shotgun microphone, a microphone that is very directional, which means that in theory, you shouldn't hear much of the sound coming from the sides. This is really perfect for documentaries, for dialogues, for interviews. But not only. Sometimes I use shotgun microphones for my sound effects and my Foley work. Yes, I even used them in some of my recent dance video productions. These videos that you have probably seen, some of the sounds that you hear in them were 100% made on location. Yes, with a shotgun mic. So what happens usually when we're done filming, I take one hour or two, cycle through my storyboard or my shot list, think about the entire movie, I kind of play it in my head, and then I record on location all the sounds that I believe might be interesting in the edit for my final film. So basically any sounds, you know, footsteps on different surfaces, doors, gates opening and closing, ambient sounds, and sometimes even ADR, automated dialogue replacement. You know, anytime you want to replace maybe a piece of dialogue, change it, or if your sound engineer didn't do his job on set, or maybe you didn't do your job on set, well, that's a cheap way of doing it. Because yes, I am not using a 5K euros, dollars, or whatever, shotgun microphone. I'm currently using the Cinco Audio D2. It is placed in the affordable side of the market at around 269 euros in Europe or at least here in France. All the sounds, my voice, that you've heard so far were recorded with the D2 and the Zoom H6. Of course, if it's not the case, I will mention it. And of course, obviously, to be fair, I will not alter change the audio recordings of this video. I might play a tiny bit with the gain if needed.
So it's a pretty noisy neighborhood. I have, you can hear right now a car that is parked on my right. Another, another one is passing by right now. Maybe you can hear it. This is maybe the reason why I never do my YouTube videos here. Because even with the all the windows closed, you can actually hear the noise coming from the street. It's 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 crazy. And right now you should be hearing another airplane almost here. It's right above my head right now. It's passing by. Yeah. Okay, the car is leaving. I'm taking a sip of coffee, and I'll try to make this video here. So the D2 comes with a carrying case, a nice sturdy carrying case and inside of it you will find a mic holder, a tiny little XLR microphone cable and of course, of course, the windscreen that is currently on my microphone. It is supposed to block a little bit of the wind around me. And I'll continue the video right after it. So yeah, this is phantom powered. There is no, no batteries inside. You can't put a battery inside of this microphone. You have to get the necessary juice from the XLR cable to make it work. In the same price range, I have the MKE 600 by Sennheiser and I'm going to compare them right now, although I hate doing comparisons. But I guess I'm going to do this inside because here it will be impossible. So here it is, the MKE 600 by Sennheiser. How does it sound? You may want to use a headphone to judge how does it sound in the mids? How does it sound in the highs, in the lows? Does it have a fuller, more detailed sound? I don't know. You tell me. I really hate comparisons, but I had to do at least one so that we have a reference. So now let's switch back to the D2. And here is again the D2. How does it sound? Does it have a fuller sound? How are the medium, the highs and the lows? Maybe you might consider using a headphone to judge. Yeah, I hate comparisons, but I had to do at least one for reference. So basically it all depends on your workflow and your needs, like any piece of gear that you own and use. So. If you mainly use professional connections, audio connections, XLR inputs, then yeah, you may consider the D2. If you need a quick setup for a DSLR or a DSLM, then maybe the MKE is better suited for you. After looking at this, you might think that the Sennheiser MKE 600 is maybe a more versatile tool. Mm, I'm not sure. I think I believe that the D2 was is targeting a little bit more the filmmaking world, the broadcast world. On the other hand, the Sennheiser MKE 600 is more for content creators, you know, videographers and YouTubers. If you are looking for an affordable shotgun microphone that can be used in a studio, in the field, on location for your dialogues for your documentaries for your interviews yeah this one can be seriously considered for more information about this microphone of course i've put in the description box below a few links just for you have you got any suggestions for us please tell us in the comments below a shotgun microphone that delivers of course and that costs less than 300 euros Thanks for watching guys. I hope this was helpful in any way. I will catch you probably in the next one. But until then, please have a good one.